Good morning. Today I want to talk to you briefly about Baron Brecht, a German playwright who lived from 1888 to 1956. Uh, some people have some trouble determining why Brecht is important to us today, but let me show you a little clip that will maybe help you understand why Brecht is one of the most important playwrights of our time. A tale of screen he thought. His skin was pale and his eye was hard. He shaved the faces of gentlemen who never thereafter were heard of again. He trod a path that you have trod. It's Weenie Todd. The demon barber of Bleach Street. example of exactly how Brechtian theater actually works. It involves actors that embody the characters. They can then become narrators. There are partial sets. The actors stylize their performance. The makeup makes them look almost dead. The sets are partial. The story is a dark story about economic problems in England in epic theater. He was born in 1890, dies in 1950, with his famous cigar in his mouth. Um, Brecht was a, a really interesting character. He was uh, allied with Marx in a time uh, Germany was feuding between the fascists and the Marxists. Uh, his first big play was the Three Penny Opera in uh, 1928. And he was popular in Germany, a playwright and a poet and a thinker and a thinker. And his ideas are still uh, commonly discussed today when it comes to theater. His idea of epic theater, sort of a public theater, a narrative theater, is very, very different style of theater that we think of Aristotelian, uh, classical theater from Western uh, Europe. Some of the ideas we have from Western theater uh, include uh, the idea of realism. That is, that a play is immediate, that the characters embody actual people, that the actors fully become the character that we feel for them, that we have empathy for them, that play moves in a structured manner from point A to point B to point C, that there's rising action, what we call the well-made play, that there's suspense, that there's a denouement or there's a resolution of the play. All of these are important qualities of what we think of as Western theater. Uh, Brecht thought of the theater as very different. Brecht thought that the theater could be narrated to us like the epic poem, that theater could be partially embodied by the actors, but that the actors always used what he called the alienation effect or the strangeness effect to somehow distance themselves from the characters they played so that we could always watch the characters from a distance and keep our eye on the idea. But instead of feeling, we were to be concerned with ideas in watching a play. Uh, and that Brecht is very involved with uh, thinking through the play. Uh, each individual scene is important in and of itself. The 
play isn't necessarily going somewhere as much as the audience is on a journey to discover new ideas and to think through the play and to become more aware of problem. And, and the final idea, I think, in Brecht is that unlike the world as it is in Aristotelian or Western theater, the world is becoming a new place. And that we, by watching, by becoming involved and becoming activists, we can become involved in creating that new world. Let's take a look at the opposite. Let's take a look at the completely conventional, in that there's real life character that we care about, conventional relationships, build ends, a play that moves from one point to another, realistic settings, realistic costumes, realistic performances, and which we are supposed to identify characters. Let's take a look at an example of that by Heinrich Ibsen. This is a doll's house with Claire Bloom and Means. Did my squirrel get home? Just this minute. We might all sorts of lovely things. You mean you've been frittering away all my money? Oh, Torb, I'm sure you wouldn't let ourselves go a little. The first Christmas we had to pinch and screw. Yes, but that's no reason to go throwing our money around. No, it's a bit of our company, just a teeny little bit. Soon you'll be making an enormous screen. We'll have lots and lots of money. Yes, but not until New Year. Yeah. But that doesn't matter. Always borrow some. Give her money to help her out because they were getting worried there weren't any good people left. Um, 
So here's a clip from uh, The Good Person of Setswan by Bertolt Brecht. Showing us a, a good person, Shen Tei, but Shen Tei has her, and even she admits that she was had doubts about really even helping the God. So Shen Tei uh, is honest, which does actually make her a good person. But the gods, uh, who come down very visibly in front of us by crawling down a ladder, uh, aren't very very helpful to people on Earth. So Shen Tei is left to her own problems. Again, this open staging, uh, the fact that they use Chinese. Uh, uh, characters in Chinese costumes uh, distances the play from the audience. So we see in Sweeney Todd, uh, Sondheim is employing Brechtian ideas. We see this marvelous ballad, My Friend, to his razor blade. And it's a very, very dark song. But again, the sentiments of the play are dealing with a corrupt society in which people do not have a chance. So this very abstract song about you know, precious rubies, you know, blood, all these metaphors for murdering people, uh, is the only kind of love this poor character can have. His condition is so debauched, he is so degraded, that all he can think of is how to do ill to solve society's problems. These are my friends, see how they glisten. See this one shine, how he smiles in light, my friend, my faithful friend. Speak to me, friend, whisper, I'll listen. I know, I know, you've been locked out of sight all these years, like me, my friend. Crap! 